So, continuing a familiar theme, which is, I'm an idiot, <clears throat> I just made this, you know, 35 minute plus video about, you know, showing off my whole Blu-ray collection, and of course I, I record it, I go to start to upload it, and I go to start putting my Blu-rays back away on the shelf, and I notice there's a whole stack I never grabbed off the shelf. So, since I felt compelled to show you my Blu-ray collection... And I missed some of it. I have to make this separate video now showing you the rest of my Blu-ray collection. Um, I can't have you thinking I don't own the Terminator or something like that. I mean, I want to come off as a fraud here. So anyways, here's the rest of my Blu-ray collection. This is a much shorter video because, it, I mean, I got most of it in the first go. But here's the rest. Um, actually, a recent purchase, Pinocchio. Disney's Pinocchio. Um, which by the way, I hate this gold trim. I also don't understand. Certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Dude, this is from like 19 fucking 40 or whatever the fuck. It's a classic. Obviously, Pinocchio is certified fresh. If Rotten Tomatoes even existed at the time. It's so stupid, but I guess I could just take this off and this is a much nicer, simpler. <laughs> Uh, cover but uh anyways Pinocchio was my favorite uh Disney movie as a kid it's the first movie I've ever seen ever at least that I recall I probably saw it when I was like two years old and it just always stuck with me as my favorite probably because of that it's like one of the movies that made you fall in love with movies um I don't you know, I rewatched it as when I bought it, probably for the first time in 25 years or something crazy, like really long time. I'm not convinced it 100% holds up. It feels super old, but um, it still has a lot of darkness and adventure. But yeah, definitely a lot of like darkness for like a, a Disney, you know, animated film. So I think I still kind of really dig it because of that. Just got like those crazy sequences and like when they go to, especially Pleasure Island or something crazy, like just the craziness around all of that part. But there's like dark stuff throughout it. Crank, which I got, let's see, $9.99 somewhere. That's what the sticker says. Um,. This is a just a really fun, goofy action movie. I like Jason Statham. I like the fact that this movie doesn't take itself seriously. I like that it's under 90 minutes. Um, it's just crazy and silly and fun and short. And it's just... It's one of my favorite, like, action movies of recent times. Speaking of action. Action double feature. Bloodsport and Time Cop. Um... I remember really loving Bloodsport as a kid. I remember actually renting Time Cop from like an independent video store where the owner had like a early copy or something. And like I want to say I had like a time stamp on the bottom of it. Like like this the owner of this place let me rent Time Cop before it was out. And it had like some sort of time stop time stamp on the bottom and like four year consideration or I don't know I'm not sure I'm sure it didn't say that because it definitely wasn't an Oscar movie but something like that it said something on it I have not rewatched Time Cop but I, I hear a lot of fun things about it so I should probably check it out again sometime Bloodsport I think I did rewatch and I don't think I loved it as much as I did when I was a kid up next we have Minority Report. Which I think is one of Steven Spielberg's best movies, especially since like the year 2000. I think it's his best movie of recent times. It's just, it's smart, interesting, like sci fi. Like it has, you know, interesting things in it, uh, but also cool action sequences. It's kind of like the full package, and it has Tom Cruise. It's obviously the full package. <clears throat> R.I.P. Paul Walker. Running, running scared. Shut up, Louie! Running scared. I don't remember a ton about this movie. And it's still sealed. I've not rewatched it since I bought it. But I liked it enough that I did buy it when I saw it for cheap. This is another yeah, Walmart Blu-ray bin buy. Um, it kind of has like a... 
like a Quentin Tarantino feel, if I recall correctly. And also, like, really cool visual style. Lots to like about this movie. I remember it's, it's pretty crazy and stuff, too, but... Um, always, it was never a huge hit, so it's just been, it's like a little cult hit. And I should probably rewatch it, because I remember liking it quite a bit. Up next, we have Robocop, the original, like, 1987, whatever, Paul Verhoeven. Um, I never saw the remake, so I can't say, but I love this movie. It's good, um, kind of like satire. Kind of making fun of America and our, our kind of our justice system, and also just a good '80s action movie. Cool score. Um, I love the way RoboCop talks in it. Um, your move, creep, like stuff like that. Um, that's a great movie. I, the other, I've seen RoboCop too. I don't think I ever saw a third one. Didn't see the remake. Then watch the TV. There's like a TV series I just saw on Amazon Prime. I was like, what? There was a TV series? But like with like movie length episodes? Someone let me know if that's any good. I have no idea. Up next we have Drive. Which I think is a stellar fucking movie. It's the best thing Nicholas Winding Refn, however you say that director's name, has done. <clears throat> like the damn thing he's done since Only God Forgives. I don't forgive. Uh, the Neon Demon. It looked cool. I liked Al Fanning. Had some like you know like cool visuals and shit. But this has cool visuals and a cool story and an amazing soundtrack and a couple like amazing uh, like chase sequences and stuff like this. Kind of it's like the most mainstream thing he's done and it's also the best thing he's done because of that it, it's like an art house action movie but like it does give you the action and it's really well done and it gives you a story that's cool and interesting unlike anything the director has done since the terminator i it's my favorite of the series i got this for 9.99 somewhere used or something it's my favorite of the series. I know a lot of people like two more, but I prefer this one because it feels like a horror movie. It also has that 80s feel on top of it. The, the I think the score is better. I love the outdated special effects actually in it. Um, just all around. I, I fucking love Terminator. It's, this is like easy top 10 all time for me. I watched this over and over and over as a kid uh, at my uncle's house. He had this. And he had Die Hard, and I watched the shit out of both of them when I went over there with my parents. Dread, um, the recent Dread film, uh, which it's a little bit like The Raid, but um, not a whole lot of plot. He's going into this building and, and lots of shooting and you know action. There's some corniness to it. I think some of the things that. Like, it did to differentiate itself at first. Like, the drug that slows everything down. I don't think that's quite as impressive now. <clears throat> I think Lena... Was it Lena Headley? Or, I don't remember her name. The, Cersei from Game of Thrones. She's kind of weird in it. There's little things around the edges that I'm like are not, like, perfect. And maybe a little corny. But, like, God, does this get the 80s aesthetic right? Like, just you know, cool look to it, awesome synth, you know, score, just badass action, not a lot, a lot of bullshit, I like Dread quite a bit, I'll fight you, and last but not least, uh, The Town, I think I've liked everything that Ben Affleck has written and or directed, but I think this is my favorite, because it's just... <clears throat> Obviously, a, a lot about his, I believe it's his hometown, Boston, right? Him and Damon, they're Boston boys. But yeah, it, you know, it feels uh, like about a time and a place. <clears throat> and it's also just like this epic crime movie, like this epic bank heist movie. Uh, you don't get a lot of like great epic crime stories. I don't think as much. 
Um, but this is one of them, and it's pretty recent, and I've not watched it again recently, but I love this when it came out. I think it might have been my favorite movie of the year. Uh, if, if not, it was damn close. Um, yeah, I think most people have seen The Town, but if you haven't, well worth checking out. That is the rest of my Blu-ray collection. That's probably the last video I'm doing today. But hey, it's been like years since I've done another video and you get three today. So maybe I'll see you in another couple of years. Thanks for watching. And please um, subscribe and give us give a listen to Movie Dudes. It's available on iTunes. Or you could, you know, if you want to listen from your PC or whatever, you can go straight to our website, criticallysane.com. Anyways, thanks for watching slash listening, and like I said, please check out Movie Dudes.